Section 33 was also modified a little and Section 33 talks about the basis of assessment. Like how do you, you know, do to come up with your um, personal income tax, like the basis to charge your personal income tax. Now, you have to understand something here. The PIT, uh, while, while calculating the PIT, there are elements on your payroll that is kind of like exempted, you know, based on the general tax code. There are elements that are taxable, and there's another element that we call the benefits in kind. Like, you know, we have, before we had like housing benefits, we had food benefits, we had domestic servants, vehicle benefits, and all these things were included at a particular scale. Now in 2024, that's beginning of January 2024, this has been modified, it's like it has been expanded a little to include other items. So as earlier mentioned, we had housing allowance at 15%, electricity allowance at 4%, Water allowance at two percent, domestic servant allowance at five percent per domestic servant, vehicle allowance at ten percent, and then we had food allowance at ten percent. But right now in 2024, we've had the addition of telephone allowance five percent, fuel allowance ten percent, security guard allowance five percent, and then we have internet allowance. 5%. These are the things that were added in 2024. We have telephone allowance, we have fuel allowance, we have security guard allowance, and then we have um, internet allowance. Now, if you have been given any of these allowances on your payroll, then they are going to calculate the percentage that's stated in general tax code and include it on your taxable base for PIT purposes, okay? Like for example, telephone allowance. If you have been given a telephone allowance for, let's say, 10,000 francs CFA, then 5% of that will be included into the taxable base, okay? Now, to me, I see this as something that's kind of like good because any other thing apart from these ones that have been listed here, they are going to be included at cost, like at their 100%, which implies that you'll be subject to paying PIT at 100% for those who are not included. But for this one, they are going to just take like 5% of the amount and include it in the base. So this is a favorable thing for employees or for salary earners or for those liable to pay personal income tax. Now, subsection 2 of this same section 33 is saying that um, every benefit in kind that, you, that you've been paid in cash, like anything that you pay in cash um, that constitutes benefits in kind shall be taxed at 100% or shall be included into the taxable base at the complete, the entire cost, like 100%. So, for example, if you were giving some kind of allowance cash, they are not going to subject that to anything that I mentioned above. Like, they're not going to apply the percentage based on this particular section of the general tax code. They are going to charge that in entirety. So what happens is, guys, if you have a company or you, you know, you are the accountant of a company, then try as much as possible not to pay in cash, okay? So everything has to go through the electronic system like you have to pay through a bank check or through electronic transfer so that you can benefit from these um, um, rates that the general tax code has now applied for the benefits in